Show me some love. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Unit 5, Lesson 4. Tables, Equations, and Graphs of Functions. Problem number 1. The graph and the table show the high temperatures in a city over a 10-day period. A. What was the high temperature on day 7? The point on the graph at day 7 indicates that the high temperature was 60 degrees Fahrenheit. You can also find that temperature in the table. On day 7 of the table, the temperature is 60 degrees Fahrenheit. B. On which days was the high temperature 61 degrees? Take a look at the graph. You can see that 61 degrees occurred on day 2, day 4, and day 6. We can also look at the table. On day 2, day 4, and day 6, the temperature was 61 degrees Fahrenheit. C. Is the high temperature a function of the day? Explain how you know. Yes, it is a function. The high temperature is a function of the day. There are no different outputs for the same input. That is, there is no day with two different high temperatures. D. Is the day a function of the high temperature? Explain how you know. Day could not be a function of temperature, as there are multiple days that have the same high temperature. There would be the different outputs for the same input. Problem number two. The amount Lynn's sister earns at her part-time job is proportional to the number of hours she works. She earns $9.60 per hour. A. Write an equation in the form of y equals kx to describe this situation where x represents the hours she works and y represents the dollars she earns. The equation would be y equals 9.60x. The Y represents the total amount earned, and the X represents the number of hours worked. Of course, the 9.60 represents the $9.60 per hour that she earns. B. Is Y a function of X? Explain how you know. Yes, Y is a function of X because there is one input for each output. C. Write an equation describing x as a function of y. One equation would be x equals 9.60 over y. Another equation could be x equals 1 over 9.6 times y. Problem number 3. Use the equation 2m plus 4s equals 16 to complete the table. Then graph the line using s as the dependent variable. Let's start with the equation 2m plus 4s equals 16. Let's look at the table where the value for m is 0. We can substitute the m with the 0, therefore 2 times 0 plus 4s equals 16. That's the same as 0 plus 4s equals 16, or just 4s equals 16. Next, we have to divide both sides by 4. 4s divided by 4 is 1s, and 16 divided by 4 equals 4. So now we know when the value for m is 0, the value for s is 4. Let's do the next one. This time we're going to substitute the s with 3, since 3 is in the table. 4 times 3 is 12. Let's subtract 12 from both sides. Now the equation reads 12m equals 4. Divide both sides by 2. 2m divided by 2 equals 1m, or m, and 4 divided by 2 equals 2. So now we know when the value for s is 3, the value for m is 2. Let's do the next one in the table. The value for m is negative 2, so we'll substitute the m with the negative 2. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Let's add 4 to both sides of the equal sign. That gets rid of the negative 4, so we have 4s equals 20. Divide both terms by 4. 4s divided by 4 is 1s, and 20 divided by 4 is 5. So when the value for m is negative 2, the value for s is 5. Let's do the last one. The value for s is 0, so let's substitute a 0 for the s. Now it reads 2m plus 4 times 0, or 2m plus 0 equals 16. Divide both sides by 2. 
2m divided by 2 equals 1m, and 16 divided by 2 equals 8. So when the value for s is 0, the value for m is 8. Use these ordered pairs to plot the points. To graph the points, draw a line through the points. Problem number 4 from 8th grade unit 4 lesson 13. Solve the system of equations. We can do that by making the two equations equal to each other. 7x plus 10 equals negative 4x minus 23. Add 4x to both sides. 0x or 0 times x equals 0. So on the right side of the equal sign we just have minus 23 or negative 23. Subtract 10 from both sides. Now the equation reads 11x equals negative 33. Divide both sides by 11. 11x divided by 11 equals 1x or x and negative 33 divided by 11 equals negative 3. We know that x equals negative 3, so we can substitute negative 3 for the x. The equation reads y equals negative 4 times negative 3 minus 23. Negative 4 times negative 3 is positive 12. Let's combine the like terms. 12 minus 23. 12 minus 23 is negative 11. Now we know that y equals negative 11. x equals negative 3 and y equals negative 11. Help me disrupt YouTube's algorithm by liking this video, commenting on this video, sharing this video, and subscribing to my channel. Thanks. I appreciate it.